right, guys, welcome to 24K Lorcana. I got my boy Danny here, and look what he got. Sheesh. And he's gonna show the deck profile today. What did you pilot? Let us uh, know. I piloted green steel. So okay. Emerald, okay. Emerald steel. And he's gonna give us the spice. Shows. I, I personally know him, and he's a really good uh, green steel player, guys. So I would definitely uh, highly consider this deck list that he's about to show us and his thoughts on, and his process on it. So the deck is consisted of basically three decks all together from three very good steel, Emer Emerald steel uh, players. Uh, Species, right? Everyone knows them for starting off the Emerald Steel Aggro, and then Ryan going 16-0 and throwing in his uh, Daisies and Donalds and Friars and just his little twist. And then the day prior to the event that I went to, where I won the Stitch Tournament uh, Championship, I saw uh, Lorcana Bro, who threw in uh, one drop Robins and uh, five drop Robins, and so I just put three decks together the best way I could, and how nice. my play style and just threw in a little mix that I haven't seen anyone else run. And it's what won me the tournament. So that's we'll, awesome. Like you put like your own little take of like seeing the success that other players yeah. got made in your own. Okay, yeah. let's see the spice, show us what you got. So just the uh, middle of the run, right? You have your four mirror folks, your one drop, your okay. discard engine starts off with this right away. Um, then after that, this is where Laura Connor bro hooked me onto the four Robin. Um, I like the four robin. It's good being on the draw because if you're unable to get your discard going, you get that robin in there. And sometimes he's just that card that people are like, okay, he's gonna shift on turn three, he's gonna shift on turn three, I wanna get rid of it. And sometimes you don't even have it. It's just, <laughs> right, it just, it's just puts that pressure. Yeah, yeah, it's just there to be the bait. And I, I don't even swing with it sometimes. I just <laughs> let it chill, let it ride until I, maybe it pops up or I'm like, okay, I wanna get this lore in. Or it's, I'm able to get this free lore in and not be punished for it. Um, from there, we move on to our two drops. You know, you have to rock your Ursulas. Um, during my Stitch Championships, I went against, uh, first round it was uh, Amber Ruby. D didn't run any songs. Doesn't, I don't believe he ran Teeth. I don't believe he ran um, Be Prepared. So this Ursula is just great to get tells and reads on your opponent. Know what they're gonna play, know what they're probably gonna ink, and be able to go off of that and be like, okay, he's gonna play this turn three, he's gonna play this turn four, he's probably gonna ink that turn five. And so I'm able to think ahead of what I'm gonna have to do Hand to that knowledge, character. right? Yeah. yeah, nice, nice. What am I gonna have to do to that character that he's gonna play? So these two drops are a must. Then of course you got your second, uh, Flynn, two drops, uh, gets that discard engine going and Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Being able to move it, move ahead and pressure, being able to get right? the Don't pressure. Don't fall behind. Yeah, you get your one drop, Mirfolk, two drop, Flynn, and you just start rolling your- Standard, uh, yep. right. And sometimes how I've seen it and how I even heard other people play, you don't even swing turn one if you're going against maybe blue red because here comes your um, their queen rush. Sometimes you want to wait till you get that uh, John out, which we'll get into in the deck. And so that you can wait to get your discard draw engine going. Cause if you want to be able to draw off their discard instead of just discarding and no plus off of it. And we go into our Shmi. We only run three Shmi's. Um, later on during the deck, you'll see uh, the reason why I only run three. Um, still awesome. I don't run the hooks, but Shmi is still an amazing two drop. If you do happen to get it, if you don't get the Flynn, if you don't get the Ursula or that's basically it. Uh, I only made the room for three. Still amazing. Yeah, good card. Uh, I do happen to, we're going into the three drops now, I do happen to run only two Benjas. Um, going against Blue Steel or any item deck, if they're going into the ramp and then they want to get into that top deck phase, if they want to be like, I'm going to ramp my, half, my whole hand and then I'm going to be able to discard their whole hand, at the end of the day, fine, ramp your whole hand. If you want to live in the world where you're going to, I'm going to have to top deck, play the card, top deck, play the card, top deck, play the card, I can run off that. So it's mainly against Flute. I think Flutes was the what was the hard one, so I was able to close it out against uh, Steel Song in uh, semifinals uh, by stopping a flute also in one of the matchups. So I think that's all. Two is viable. Then comes the Beast. I think this is the most broken card in the discard deck. Uh, one of them, John, being able to get pluses off the discard when you go turn one. I'll put him down here. You go turn one Murpho, turn two Flynn, turn three, turn three. You'll see the next card Ursula. Turn floor John, and boom, you're able to right, set it going up. Off with that get bad the boy, right? Yeah, and nice. get your sudden chills rocking. Yeah. Amazing card right here. 
Then the next one, that's gonna be amazing set four also. Sheesh. You got your three drop Ursula's. Like I said, you get your Merfolk turn one, Blinn's turn two, Ursula turn three, John turn four, to John turn four, let me sudden chill, discard two cards, draw two cards. That's just broken. Draw this pared is just ridiculous, yeah, right, was, with sudden chill. Yeah, amazing. Put Emerald on the map. Glad to see Emerald doing such a great job now. I've been, been on Emerald still since set one, so it's really good to see the deck taking off now, finally. Uh, we'll go into the song since we just, we're talking about Ursula. We do run four sudden chills. Um, discard engine, there's only one thing to run with it, right? You're running the Ursula. Get the two, get the two sudden chills with the Ursula. Yeah. Ursula just made this card just absolutely yeah. busted. Ur yeah. Ursula made sudden chill just amazing. Uh, songs again for the Ursula. We got the four Let It Goes. The Ursula yeah. package. Yeah, you're good. yeah, so I run the four Let It Goes. Other decks run three, other decks run two. I run the four. I feel it. even storm if. Storm Rage, yeah. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Let the Storm Rage on. Um, just because either way, if you don't have the Ursula, it's a draw engine. My only, my only other draw engines you don't see on the deck or if I'm going to discard with Prince John on the field, yeah. let the Storm Rage on. I do run BCLC at the, at, uh, in the deck also. I know with other decks when it was deal two, draw a card, it felt fine because it was too damage, right? It was sometimes yeah. you get the drawing. But in this deck, when you get to deal four and draw two, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Just amazing, yeah, it's just great. Uh, another song that we're going to go into, right? Strength of Revenge and Fire. It's another one that Ursula is able to sing. You're able to shoot it twice, kill big dudes, big, big Robins, Beast, Tremaines, anything. Even if I have enough guys on the field, Tamatoa, as long as I have four dudes, I'm going to shoot them for four or two times. So it's a four of, must of. Then we go into Donald's. People hate on Donald's. I saw Lorcano Bro run it. I saw Ryan run it. So people are hating on it, but it's another beast on turn four. And if you have discard in your hand, you know they're gonna draw. They're gonna take that draw, and you're gonna be like, okay, discard. Now you just got two for one again, especially if you have John on the field. So I think Donald being in play is just an amazing thing. Then we'll go to. I got Friar Tux. I run two Friar Tux. Friar Tux is still a beast. He's amazing. Um, sometimes it comes into play. Sometimes he's able to get the discard. Sometimes he's there when you don't have any card, any cards in hand, and they don't have any cards in hand. So he's just gonna come into play. Honestly, I play it weird. I'm a weird play style. Um, even if I have two cards in hand and they have, th um, how is it? So I have three cards in hand. They have two cards in hand. Sometimes I'm like, you know what? I still want to get a card out of their hand so I could draw off the John. So I'll play my Fire Tuck, make myself discard, make them discard, and go off of that. <laughs> nice. so, and then maybe I draw an, into another sudden chill, play another discard, and now I got the last card out their hand. Sometimes it's just able to make them have to be like, man, he's discarding himself so I can have to discard a card. And it's, it's weird. And mind games at the end of the day. Uh, then we go into two daisies. Um, Again, people hate on daisies. I like that card a lot. Sometimes, too, sometimes sure. it works. Sometimes you don't get your one, two, three, and Ursula four, four John. So maybe Daisy comes out turn four, and then you happen to top deck John on turn five. Play John. Daisy swings. John's gonna get the draw off of that on turn five. So and she's another two quester. Yeah. A lot of the people in this deck are two questers. You only see a, maybe a minimum of two people I run in the deck that are only one questers. Um, so they're only able to gain one lore but everything else is mostly very runs fast, very yeah. So I'm gonna swing for two, swing for two, swing for two, swing for one, somewhere in there. Then we go to big boys that are five drops. I will put them over here, running out of room. We got Beast. I know people are hating on Beast also. It comes in, they see a Medusa, dies. And it's just, it's a horrible feeling, but you have to just be able to say, you know what, if you have it, you have it at the end of the day. If you get the draw off of it, you're getting that plus one and it, it's beneficial at the end of the day. And even at that, sometimes they damage him or you, I'm just using and him just to got swing. got a beefy boy. Yeah, and yeah. I'm just like, all right, now let's see if they play a location yeah. or if I'm gonna be able to take out something. Right, yeah. it demands an answer. Yeah. And then we go to another five drop who for me came in clutch. I did run the, I did run the enchanted. I have the cards and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play with these cardboards. So I did decide to put in the one drop Robins, five drop Robins, and being on the draw, I think going one drop Robin to three drop uh, shift Robin just really strong. was able to yeah be strong, especially during the mirror during the mirrors or anything. You know what? I'll be able to trade into something. I'll lose a card, but I'm still gonna gain two lore and still be ahead on lore count. Uh, then comes beautiful, beautiful card. Then comes 
my take on the deck. If you, want, gonna... if you want, we can make space in the middle and then we'll put the card in. The next card you're going to show in the middle. All right, we'll do that. So then here comes my spice on the decks that everyone runs it how they ever how they want to but this is just my take on it these are my one ofs i go one of lucifer dropping them on turn five making the opponent discard two two cards or one action is just an amazing thing to happen especially if you have john on the field and then say you did do the ursula effect on uh, on turn four also you just made them discard two off of there then you drop this turn five they discard two more or one or one that could be that whole new world that's in their hand that they're holding on to or even that be prepared so i do one one of lucifer he's also swings in for two lore so he's another great card that just continues to keep that pressure going i do run one hypnotize uh you could run two i like one sometimes it gets clunked in the hand and maybe they're already down to no cards and you top deck this and it's your second one that you've drawn and you're like oh, i don't need this right now it's like you want a lot of discard, but not too much discard, yeah. right? Just in this number, feels like the very good sweet spot, you would say? Yeah, because sometimes you get the, you get their whole hand gone, and then they start top decking, and they're <laughs> top decking nuts. Like, oh, right, let's right. go turn the five. The green steel scare, right? Like, yeah. it's like, ooh, sometimes, yeah. yeah. And then I go into one four drop uh, flame. That's really where, good. Oh, That's scary. Yeah, so if you're able to get the discard engine going, and then you're able to drop this on turn four, even turn five, at that time, they have one card in hand maybe no cards in hand and we're able to get that pressure going pressure going and they're going to have to use something since he is evasive to get rid of it it's going to be a smash and it's going to be raging fire strength whatever they need to to get rid of this card to get him off the field and so if they're if they have to medusa this then i know maybe i could drop this after uh, uh turn five beast after because i know they just wasted their medusa on a flynn which would be great and then i have a one of a long came zeus it is enchanted, my own enchanted of it. Like I said, I had it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play this card. You, you show it. Yeah. yeah. I do want to run off. You see people run two, you see people run three. The only reason I won one is because I feel if I need to run two or if I need to use this card, I'm falling behind. If I draw this super early, I'm holding it and holding it and holding it until I'm like, you know what? I need to finally use this card. But I think a one of is just fine. Like I said, these are my four where you can fit in however you would want to fit in your slots. I do um, see that this one can beautifully be sang by these two. And yeah. Uh, like, you know, a 2-5 uh, <clears throat> shield Donald Duck singing this, it could happen, yeah. you know, it's really good. Yeah, or even the 2-4 And fire. they have the fire tucked yeah. there, yeah. So you or, do have some solid four drops, right, yeah. to be able to sing this with. So it was a great, these are just my impressions on how I wanted to run it. one ofs. I like to see it. I don't like to see it too much. And so that's the reason behind it. Uh, another thing with that is I do run 15 on Inkables, but... I never had a problem with ink ever. You see people run 12, 13, 14, and they stop at 14. I think you should be running 15 on equals with the deck. You have so much draw power, you're able to ink. I've never had a problem inking with 15. And when you do the math right, it's I think that's every four cards on paper, theoretically, you should, have, you should draw an uninkable. Sometimes it doesn't happen, sometimes it does, but with this, we were able to pull out the work. Nice, man. And you say it's a 60 card build? This is 60 cards, yeah. 60 card, all right, man. Well, everyone on my channel knows how I personally feel about green. You know, I never touch green. I always thought it was an ugly color, but I will say if someone makes it look very nice and beautiful, it's you, Danny. You're very good pilot with the deck, and I do appreciate you for finally um, putting some uh, green into this channel, man. It's really good uh, green uh, steel list you got, man. And congratulations again on the stitch. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you, man. Any shout outs? Uh, shout out 24K, right, Lorcana, for making the video. Shout out TCG, it's my home store. Right, City of Colton, you guys come out. Big tourney to the out here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just shout out to the Lorcana community. It's a great community. Um, I remember when we first started, I couldn't get a lot of the cards in the first chapter, probably like some of you, and they were able to give me some cards. Uh, the store start, start me up, and so it was great. Yeah, it was good great. card game, good community. Yeah. All right, again, okay. thank you, Danny.